by the end of this fight, I'm, I'm gonna show you guys the stats. You'll notice that. Hold on, real kick. Oh shit! Fuck! If I look. Alrighty, UFC 293, Israel Mobola Gia De Sonia. Here we go. Facing Alex Pereira. Yeah, I'm ready. He's going to be defending that title against Sean Strickland. And I, for one, will be watching. Watch out for my uh, reaction for it. We're going to record our live reaction to it. And I'm going to put it out later. I'm hoping that something cool happens, you know. Israel goes out there, puts on a show. the body it's been a minute since i played ufc 4 i'll be honest I, I i've been playing less and less and less and less as uh as ufc 5 draws near i really have but oh this man is sidestepping like crazy oh he's sidestepping like crazy he doesn't want me hitting him with those side look at look at this all right i'm just gonna run house to the body then Woo! The body nice leg kick he is giving me the space to fight him at the range I want to fight him at. When I'm using Israel, John Jones, even Alex, I prefer fighting at kicking range. I'm just, just, just way more comfortable for me. To the body. Head kick. Like that question mark kick. To the body. Gassing them out little by little, just sapping that, sapping that energy, that energy bar. Pereira him already does not really have the the best gas tank in the game, so when you start to work that body little by little, you you really really feel it. There we go. I should have thrown that. I should have thrown that. Should have thrown that. Some of these shots just don't feel like they're going to land. That one landed. Whiff. I want that switch kick. To the body again. To the body. I've been kind of sick too. Which is like just a big pain in the ass. Doing commentary is not easy because I've been coughing quite a bit. But we're going to make it work, baby. We're going to make it work. Nice. To the body again. Look at this man's stamina in the first round. Woo! Sir, you have mismanaged your conditioning, bro. I got to say. You've really mismanaged things. To the body again. To the body. All right. Very good. Come second round, bro. He, he He's not going to be... This, this fight this fight is going to go downhill real quick because my stamina is only going to recover. And his is going to just go down. That said, though, this this fight versus Sean Strickland is, I think it's going to be a very interesting fight. It could go, it could go multiple ways. Um, I think general consensus is that Israel will probably make this look easy, right? Like, we've already seen him. We've seen him against some you know, better fighters, I, I should say, right? We've seen him against the likes of Robert Whitaker, um, Paulo Costa... We've seen him in there with some good strikers, right? It is um, Anderson Silva. Catch that. It's just... I mean, he fought Jared Cannonier, right? Why Why am I drawing a blank on that for some freaking reason? Like, sometimes I, I, just, I just forget some odd details. I'm like, did he fight Jared Cannonier or, or, or am I imagining this in my head? I think he did. <laughs> Um, 
So Sean Strickland definitely presents some interesting problems. Right, nice, rocking right there to the block. His pressure, his style of fighting and all that. But I just don't think he's going to be, he's going to present, I mean, what am I saying? He's fought some, some good strikers. Israel came from K1. Of course he's fought some good strikers. <laughs> oh my God. You know what I mean? Like th that's where he came from. At, that, at one point he was fighting nothing but great strikers. So being in there with good strikers is not is not a new thing for Israel. It's just Sean can be very awkward. He can be very awkward. His defense is also quite interesting. The way he throws, his timing on for his shots. Um, he he has good cardio as well for sure. What I worry for Sean is with his chin, right? We've seen him get chinned. Like, we've seen that man get put out by Alex Pereira. And even though Alex, I would say, definitely hits harder than Israel, it's not necessarily the, the raw power that's the problem. There we go. This man is getting beat down right now. I don't think the issue is going to be raw power. Like, Israel, we've seen him put away guys. He put away Paulo Costa. He put away Robert Whitaker. He's he's put away some some very uh, there we go generally durable durable guys right that's it this is oh it's mostly about like the pinpoint accuracy right the shot selection the timing the speed of the shot and I think that's what it's going to be if he goes out there and he puts puts Sean Strickland away I think it's it's not going to be about power. It's going to be about like just just the shot selection, the timing of the shot. Probably going to be some. I mean, a very similar shot to the one that uh, because as much as Alex Pereira has very good a very good left hook, so does Israel. People forget that Israel also has a very good left hook. He has a very good left hook. Sat down, Robert Whitaker with that. He has good hooks. Period. His jabs and his straights, they're very potent. Don't get me wrong, but like... <laughs> they show him some respect. They show him some respect. His jabs and straights are very potent. His kicks are very potent. But when Israel starts letting those hooks fly, bro, they do some serious damage, man. Like the one he used to sit down, Paulo Costa. That was a beautiful shot. Temple. Caught him clean. And that is a shot that Sean Strickland is definitely open to. He's, he's open to get hit with that. I think Israel is going to catch him at some point. And, of course, the leg kicks is going to be just, it's going to be a big thing, bro. I think the fight is going to look quite similar to, to the Paulo Costa fight. Um, Sean is going to start trying to pressure him, you know, back him up. Israel is just going to move, man. That's the problem. And you're facing a guy who does not... There we go. Set him down again. Oh, this is this is why I don't like doing that. This right here is why I don't like throwing. He got up. Oh. But Israel, when you start pushing him, right, the leg kicks will come. Those leg kicks, man, he's very good at it. It's only a matter of time before you really start to feel it. It's start to get desperate. Then the punches will come. That's it. Good fight. Good fight, brother. He just... He just got so tired, man. Great fight. He just got so tired. By round number two, my opponent was just dead. But it was also because of, like, the clean shots were landing to the body. He wasn't very efficient with the way he was striking. Just a bunch of... A bunch of things, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Beautiful wheel kick. See if I can get some clean finishes today. Woof! Beautiful. Slump him against the cage. Get that boy out of there. Get that boy out of there. Hope you guys are enjoying this. If you are, you know exactly what to do. Let's move on. Ugh. Diaz, Diaz, Diaz. Let's go, let's go.
There we go. Freaking phone ringing. There we go. All right, this man pressuring me heavy. Pressuring heavy. It's okay. He's going to use this. These side kicks to the body. Work his body and just slow him down as much as possible. There we go. <laughs> he is trying to give me the, 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 the Diaz treatment. That's okay. Bring it, boy. Bring it. Whiff. There we go. There we go. The body. Back up. One thing you're going to notice is that by the end of this fight, I'm, I'm going to show you guys the stats. You'll notice that. Hold on. Wheel kick. Oh, shit. Fuck. If I look. I was going to say, bro, if I lose like this, bro, that's going to piss me off. I was trying to tell you guys that uh, to fight pressure, you gotta like your strike count in a lot of in a lot of ways has to be higher than your opponent. It's not about just you moving away from the shot. Fighting pressure is increasing your fight your, your your strike count, and you'll see I'm gonna have more strikes thrown than my opponent. That's what you need to do to be able to keep them off you as they're entering the pocket. It's your opportunity. And I know you guys worry about like losing stamina and all that. Just trust. My stamina is low like right now because of that fucking whiff. But There we go. Back up. That kick. Man, he is pressuring me like crazy. I'm about to fly knee you, boy. There we go. Look at my face, bruh. Get out of here! Get out of here! With one second left on the clock. With one second left on the clock. I saw it. Hey. Thank you. I appreciate that, sir. Good fight to you as well. Boom. I appreciate the pressure. You definitely pushed me. I, I respect it. I respect that a lot. It's not easy to do that. It is not easy to, uh, because you, you put yourself right in the fire. And I was, I was hitting, I mean, look at my face, bro. Face all busted up, dude. I mean, that dude put some damage on me. He put some damage on me, bro. Damn. <laughs> um, had me shook a little bit. Like pressure just, just going at it. Just going at it. I'm like, holy crap. I knew I had to brute force him at some point, man. And the flying knee was the it was the shot. We just found that range and just leaped up. Leaped right up and stung him with it. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the stats. And you'll see exactly what I'm what I'm talking about. When you're the guy that's fighting pressure and you're backing up right and your opponent is like pushing you over and over and over again you're gonna have to increase your your your, your strike count because you're gonna have to hit look at that 131 to his 102 strikes landed 60 strikes to his 29 so like i threw way more shots in that first round that's what it's gonna have to look like just saying anyways thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video leave a like on it I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Have a good one.